uh, you all. We've got a, an emergency right now. A law has just been passed. It's called an anti-fart law, which makes it against the law for an obese woman to let out a fart in public because the fart is used to cause explosions like at the West Texas fertilizer plant. Um, right now, there are a bunch of very obese women exploding themselves. Their gas is deadly. It can start fires. It can lead to retardation. So you need public, you need to be aware that it looks like hundreds or thousands of these obese women that belong to the terrorist group Thin Privilege are exploding themselves. So you need to take cover, get under desks or whatever. If you can get a gas mask, put it over you because the gas from the fart can cause mental retardation. And um, I think we need to pass another law. See, Obama has just passed this anti-fart legislation, which requires these women to wear a plug to keep them from farting in dangerous places. But I think we need to be, they, you know, I, I understand how they feel about the farts, you know, like, but they feel like they have the right to fart. But the problem is their farts are a weapon, and they do it on purpose to um, to uh, to kill people. And so we are trying to pass legislation so that they can't use a fart as a weapon. I think we need to designate a special place where they are allowed to fart, OK? Another thing, I think we need to uh, create legislation to force these women to lose weight. Um, because right now, their argument is this. They're saying, this isn't a fair law. I mean, skinny people can fart, and you don't pass laws against them. But if a fat person tries to fart, well, to, for your fart to be toxic, you have to weigh like 300 pounds or more, OK? And if they're going to start exploding themselves in protest to this law, we might need to pass another law making it that we're going to force them to lose weight. Because when they get to this, when they start weighing over 300 pounds, they are a danger to the public welfare. This is what I think we need to pass another law. And that is if somebody weighs like 300 or more pounds, in other words, if they're extremely obese, and if they are, if they have s sympathies with the thin privileged terrorist group, and we can determine this through brain reads, that they, we are going to force them to lose weight. Um, because their condition is uh, makes their makes them deadly. It's kind of like um, I'm not sure how we should go about it, but I think we need to pass. See, they're, they're it, they sort of are right because they should have the right to fart. The problem is they're using it to kill people. Anyways, we do have an emergency, folks. So. You do need to take cover because a lot of these fat chicks that around Church of Gale, they've been exploding. Their gas is toxic, so get a gas mask, get under tables or whatever you can do because their farts are like an explosion, like an earthquake from what I understand. Um, you may want to go to the Gabriel Chana Fox News Channel, and they'll give you the latest information on how to deal with this situation. Um, but I think we need more legislation. I don't think just telling them to put a plug in their butt is sufficient. Um, we pro until they lose weight, we probably should have like, you know, just like, imagine what it would be like if people didn't use the toilet when they go to the bathroom. You see what I'm saying? And if, and if we had to get to the point where we had to make it a law that you can't use, unless it's an emergency, you cannot, you have to use the toilet to let out your, you know, <laughs> your, your stuff, your, when you poop and you pee. So, you know, because these, this is, it's along the same line. We don't have to pass a law like that because people just prefer to do that. But it's kind of like for the farting. I think we ought to designate farting places where they can let out their fart because right now they feel like, oh, this is so unfair. Just like you don't poop or pee in public. You don't let out a fart in public, OK? Um, but the problem is, I don't know if we've designated a place where they can let out the fart, because obviously they got to let it out somewhere. So we need to maybe be specific about maybe create a place where they can let the fart out. I hate to be so vulgar, but they're forcing us into this. They're all, we think they're exploding in protest to the um, 
anti-farting legislation that just got passed. Another thing, I think we also need to arrest Zach Knight. Um, I think he's using brain control on these fat chicks right now to cause them to explode themselves. And first of all, we need to pass law stating that the thin privilege organization, which is all these obese people that claim that the world is prejudiced against them because they're extremely overweight, we need to pass law that they are a terrorist organization. Once we do that, then we can arrest anybody who cooperates with these terrorists as a terrorist themselves, which means we can arrest Zach Knight. And I think we need to do that. Or this is, He's using brain control on these women to cause them to become fat, and he's also genetic. Most of these women are, he created in his cloning labs, and he's programmed them with this, with this program that makes them want to be fat. So anybody who weighs 300 or more pounds, we're going to do a brain scan on them. And if they have sympathies with the thin privileged terrorist group, we need to pass a law that they are required to go into a weight loss program and also a brain reprogramming program. And anybody who messes with their brain program and, and makes them want to gain weight will be arrested as a terrorist sympathizer with this. So we need to pass law that the thin privileged group is a terrorist organization and that anybody who assists any of these women who won't cooperate with us in turning them in for arrest will be considered a terrorist supporter and will be arrested as a terrorist supporter. So we need to pass more laws. Just putting, just ordering these fat privileged women to put plugs in their butthole is not going to work, as you can see. Right now, they're going in a rampage in protest, exploding themselves like suicide bombers. And so just need to warn you all, okay, go to Gabriel Channel Fox News Channel if you can. Get a gas mask. The gas from the farts when they explode is toxic. Um, I think they just feel like they have a right to fart like anybody else. But, you know, just like... We need to create a place where they can let it out where it's safe. Just like, just like you don't go to the bathroom out in public. You don't. You shouldn't fart out in public like they do. Their fart is like they let let out gallons and gallons of fart. So, I hate to have to make this video. It's okay, we need to pass more laws, President Obama. Um, for one thing, even though it's good that we're telling them to put a plug in there, as you can see, this is making them furious. Now they're out there exploding themselves. So we need to pass a law to where they can let the fart out safely. And until we can get them to lose weight, once they get below a certain weight, the fart's no longer deadly. So it's, we don't have to, you know, so it's only for obese women. But I think we also need to pass a law that it's against the law to try and make yourself go over 300 pounds in order to make yourself a weapon. Okay, because they're going to say, no, you're prejudiced against us because we're obese. No, we're not prejudiced against you because you're obese, as long as you don't kill us because of your obesity. But if you use your obesity as a means to belong to a terrorist organization to kill people who are not, then you, then we need to make it against the law to become that obese and that we can force you on a diet, whether you like it or not. And we're also going to check out your brain programming to make sure that you are not being programmed to become like this. And whoever programs you this way will also be arrested as a terrorist. So we need more laws, folks, okay? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this on out to warn the world because right now obese women are exploding everywhere and we have an emergency. But we need to pass a law that the thin privileged terrorist group is a terrorist group. That if you weigh like a certain amount of pounds and over, whatever amount of pounds it is where your fart becomes deadly, that we're going to force you to go on a weight loss plan. And if not, uh, you're going to, and if you won't cooperate with us in that weight loss plan, we're going to arrest you as a terrorist because you're using your weight as a means to kill people. And um, these women can lose weight. You say, well, you should force them. When, when you use your obesity as a terrorist weapon, we have the right to force you to lose weight. Okay? And that's what you're doing. You're saying it's not fair that we can't fart because we're fat. Okay? Then we're going to make it that you can't be fat. <laughs> How's that? That's how we're going to solve that problem. Okay? We're going to force you to go on a diet. <laughs> and um, the same, we're also going to force you to, you, and um, hey, you better not complain because we're using our government money to, to, to uh, put you on a diet. You're going you're to be getting free food from us because we're going we're gonna to pay for your diet plan. So you better not dare complain. That's, a, that's the new law we need to pass, Obama. We're going to force these people to go on a diet because they're using these 
as a means to kill people. Okay? And, um, and also, um, they have to have a designated farting place. And if they do, and until they get to the point where their farts are no longer dangerous, if they don't use that farting place, they've broken the law and will arrest them as a terrorist. And um, uh, that's it for now.